Welcome back to the Tiny Tree House with me, Daisy. And today we are going to be getting super sciencey and creating our very own lava lamp. So let's go discover what it is we need to do. So to create our lava lamps, you will need some oil, you will need a water bottle. Now guys, I've got these really cool looking water bottles, but you can use any container you like as long as it's clear. That is super, super important. Okay, we need some food colouring. Ta-da! We need some Alka-Seltzer to give it a little bit of a fizz. And you also need plenty of water, which I have down here. I even have a little jug. So we're gonna start off, okay? Gonna move all this out of the way, excuse me, thank you. We're gonna take our water bottle, we're just gonna take the lid off, okay? Just like so. Now we wanna take our oil first of all, and it's super heavy, okay? We're gonna fill up our water bottle three quarters full of oil. So I'm gonna fill it to about here. Okay, that's about three quarters of my bottle, so I'm just gonna undo the lid of the oil. Fabulous. We wanna be super careful with this oil, guys, because it's super slippery. There we are. Ta-da! Thank you. And we're just going to pour this into our bottle like so. So like I said, we want to do about three quarters full. Listen to that gloop. It's really thick and really quite slimy. Fab, is that three quarters? I think so, Scientist Daisy. I think so. A little bit more. Marvellous. And I tell you what, I'm going to do two because we're going to do different colours. So I'm going to take my second water bottle and we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to unscrew the lid like so. We take our oil and we're just going to pour it into the second container. So this is why it's super important that it's see-through, guys. Otherwise, you're not going to see the fabulous colours. And we're just going to fill that again three quarters full. Are they the same? Fabulous. Perfect. Marvellous. Okay, I'm going to move the oil to one side. So now we're done with the oil. The next thing that we need is our water. So I'm going to take my jug and I'm just going to scoop off all of this water from the tiny tree house. There we are. And all we do is we fill up the rest of our bottle with the water. So again, I'm going to take my clear container, fill up the water. Ooh, bubbles. Look at that. And as you can see, the water goes through the oil and makes it all wobble around, which when we add our colour should give us our fabulous lava lamp effect. I'm going to do exactly the same into our second bottle here. Look at them bubbles. Wow. It's like being in the ocean. Fabulous. There you go. Perfect, now we've got two bubbly oil and water bottles. Now for the exciting bit, we are gonna find the colors that we like in our food colouring. So I'm gonna open this up. And I think today we are gonna treat ourselves and we're gonna go for this little, this is called blueberry, like a mix of blue and purple. So we'll take you and then, do you know what? I am feeling a bit of orange today. So we'll go for a little bit of orange as well. So we'll start off with the blue. We're just going to add a couple of drops of food colouring. Now, guys, you can add as much or as little as you like, but I'm going to start off small, and if it needs more, then I'll add more. So I'm just going to drop a couple of these in like this. Ooh. Okay. Okay, maybe did a couple more than a couple of drops. The more the merrier. Treat yourself. And now I'm going to do the orange one. So they've sunk all the way to the bottom. Look at that. Love that. And now we're going to add in the orange one. So this container... Like so, ooh, like little tiny droplets. There we go. And I don't know if you can see them fabulous colours sitting on the bottom there. So now what should happen is when we add our bubbly tablets, here's one I prepared earlier, hopefully we will get our lava lamp effect. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to drop them in at the same time. So we're going to take this one in this hand. Thank you. We're going to take this one in this hand. We're going to drop them in to our lava lamps. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to add the lids. And I'm going to give them a little minute to start bubbling away. Ooh, the blue one's doing bits. Okay, let's give you a little minute. Okay, maybe the orange one needs a little bit more colour. I'll do that now super quick. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be really cheeky and add another colour. We're going to have a double bubble lava lamp. Oh, it's working. Look at the blue one. He's fizzing away. Yeah. 
There we go. That's much better. Oh, it's like a volcano. And I don't know if you can see that, guys. That one's really going for it. Look at that. So I'm going to put the lid on just so we don't get it all over our tiny tree house in case it starts erupting like a real volcano. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's exciting. That's like a, that is like a proper volcano, isn't it? Look at those colours. Red and blue. Fabulous. Now, there's a little bit of colour sitting in the bottom. I wonder if we give it a shake. Should we give it a go? Let's see what happens. Uh... Nothing. Not much. So, turns out, guys, we can just leave it as it is. And I think you can mix as many colours as you like to create all of the lava lamps that you can. Well, I think it's time for me to tidy up again. But thank you for joining me here at the Tiny Tree House. Have a fabulous day, whatever you're doing with it. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.